would like to introduce the topic of the UN Water Courses Convention and uh, its relations with multilateral environmental agreements. And why is it so? It's because, as we all know, the UN Convention has uh, an important part to de dedicated to the environmental protection, Article 20 and, and other articles. We also know that uh, equitable uh, sharing uh, of rivers should also be including uh, sustainable development dimension and uh, moreover there is more and more uh, discussion about the extent of the environment impact assessment which should be produced when there is a notification of a project, a planned project. So there are a lot of, so I would say, entry doors for environmental protection and I think what is also interesting is that in order to know what is the real meaning of these the notions which are content, which are included in the UN Convention? We should be looking at uh, what, it's go what is going on in the context of multilateral environmental agreements. And there, when we look at the multilateral environmental agreements, we realize that a lot of them are dealing with water issues. A lot of them, and I would mention one of them, which is an important one, which is the Ramsar Convention on the protection of wetlands and of, of international importance. There's, there's been work which has been done by the Conference of the Parties and the other bodies. We should also be having in mind the Biodiversity Convention, which also has on its agenda the protection of aquatic ecosystems and also aquatic species. Uh, one, I think, should also be looking at what's going on with, within the context of the Desertification Convention and as well as in the context of the climate change framework. So, those are examples of multilateral environmental agreements which I think play an important role for protecting waters and for protecting the environment of waters. Uh, now, what I think is, so we have the UN Convention, we have this multilateral environmental agreements and we should also be thinking in terms of interactions between the UN Convention and the multilateral environmental agreements. And this is where I think that uh, what we call interpretation of treaties is an adequate pathway for integrating uh, the concerns as expressed in the context of the multilateral environmental agreements in the context of the UN Convention. And uh, it's interesting to see that what has been developed, for, for example, in the context of multilateral environmental agreements uh, with respect to the environment imp environmental impact assessment, will have, I'm sure, some incidence in the interpretation of Article 12 of the UN Convention or Article 22, 21 sorry, of the UN Convention with respect to the uh, principle not to cause any damage to the environment of, uh, of an international water course. Um, another, I think, issue which is important is uh, the notion of the understanding of sustainable development in the context of these multilateral environmental agreements. Sustainable development is an important concept. It's not mentioned explicitly in the context of the UN Convention, but I do think that uh, it should find its place. And it means what? It means that when we speak of equitable and reasonable utilization of an international water course, uh, this should be done in accordance with the principle of sustainable development. And uh, there, and I will conclude with that, the multilateral environmental agreements are bringing a lot of reflections and food for thought with respect to what does it mean to think in terms of sustainable development when we're managing an international water course. So with that, what I want to conclude with is to say that uh, we have, beside the UN Convention, beside water treaties as such, other treaties that we should be also looking at, and uh, we, by the, these other treaties are covering, for example, the multilateral environmental agreements, where we can draw some experience, we can also uh, take some insights from the interpretation which has been made of this convention to understand better how to implement uh, the UN Convention, the UN uh, Water Courses Convention in a manner which is uh, adequate to the environmental protection parameters.